Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth and welcome back to the channel that doesn't break when stupidity walks in front of his car. In fact, I tend to speed up. To be a flirt, you have to deny a lot of things, one of them being spaceflight of any kind. Because they have to, don't they? If we've been to space and taken photos, then it's game over for Flatardia. They have to deny the very technology existing, and even space existing. They say rockets can't work in space, and that's because flat earthers are fucking idiots. So today, we're going to laugh at the stupid and tell them why they are wrong. Same as always. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. Find the Find the Before we get going, I'd like to shout out a couple of things. First, if you haven't seen my interview with ex flat earther Jose Gonzalez, then there's the link. Watch it after the show. And a shout out to Rapid X and Michael Jordan's latest flat earth diss track vid. I'll be putting a karaoke version on my channel soon. And Simon Dan is running in the London Marathon for a great cause. He did a video explaining why, so I'll put a link to that in the description and a link to his Just Giving page so you can support the cause. Anyway, someone on the internet is wrong. Let's, in the nicest way possible, explain to ODTV why he is a complete and utter fucking moron. Thrust and combustion are impossible in a vacuum. Therefore, space travel is a hoax. Like I said, this is an assumption they have to make, isn't it? I mean, what happens to flat Earth if just one aspect of space travel is true? This guy has 249,505 subscribers. There is no way he could ever admit that the Earth isn't flat. He would lose all of that. I mean, you could strap him to the front of a Soyuz capsule, send him into space to dock with the ISS. It's unlikely he would survive, but if he did, he would still say it was fake. Let me show you what I mean with two scientific experiments that were conducted in a vacuum chamber. I'll link these videos in the description, all credit to Cody's lab. This first video proves that thrust is not possible in a vacuum. Who wants to bet that something really stupid is coming up? Do you all have face protection ready? Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's lab. So as you can see, we're using the vacuum chamber once again. And I actually have a little feather right there, as you can see, suspended in front of a 12 volt electric fan. See, I got the batteries, a pressure gauge, and everything in there. To turn it on, I have a little tilt switch that says magnetically controlled. You can see when I turn the fan on, it blows the feather all over the place. This is, of course, at atmospheric pressure right now. So you guys see where this is going, right? I mean, the thing is that ODT TV is using a video from Cody's lab, which I'll link in the description. And you'll see for yourself that Cody's lab most definitely does not think that the Earth is flat or that this experiment proves rockets don't work in space. ODD's contribution to the video is to put some misleading text over it. Good job. So, I want to take this down to Martian conditions. You uh, might have noticed the Martian reference over there. First thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of dry ice to the chamber, just so that uh, the atmosphere gets replaced with CO2. Mars conditions are not quite vacuum of space type nothingness, but will serve to prove my point, smiley face emoticon. I mean, I wonder if Cody's lab knows that his video is being misrepresented in such a heinous way. So I'm gonna skip ahead to where the atmosphere has been removed inside the chamber to approximately Martian conditions. So since we're at Martian air pressure, let's unplug the vacuum pump and uh, let's turn on this fan. Oh, isn't it nice of ODD TV to add text for us to read and then cover it with his logo? Let's see what happens. Okay, fan's on. And the feather's not moving. In fact, let's zoom in on that. So no atmosphere to push, no movement. What's your point here? That you don't really know how Newton's third law of motion works? Let me explain, you fucking idiot. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Thrust is created by gases leaving the rocket. To explain that further, ODD 
is assuming that the thrust is created when the escaping gases hit the ground or air, but, but that's not the case. The way a rocket engine is designed is to create thrust inside the combustion chamber. Uh, as the fuel and oxidizer mixes, it creates combustion and forces the expanding gases out of the end of the rocket. Rockets use a bell-shaped nozzle called a convergence-divergence nozzle that forces the expanding gases to increase their speed from a subsonic to supersonic as they exit the nozzle. This expanding gases and shockwaves create a force on the inside of the nozzle as the gases leave the other way, obeying Newton's third law of motion and thrusting the rocket forward. But ODD isn't finished here. He also has a problem with combustion. And so I'm going to be burning some rocket candy. This is a mixture of sugar, potassium nitrate, and iron oxide. This is used in amateur rockets because the ingredients are readily available and the amount of uh, thrust it produces is quite high. So let's light this on fire and see how it does. So this is in Earth atmosphere. As you can see, it burns rather rapidly, producing a little bit of thrust even. As you can see towards the end, it moved it around. So what you're showing here is that an amateur rocket fuel is made of sugar, potassium nitrate, and iron oxide. He's gonna try and compare this to actual rocket fuel. Fucking moron. So now let's try it inside of a vacuum. No ignition. That's interesting. He can't say that. I'm pretty sure Jainism has that trademarked. I did see some little poofs as it tried to burn, but it was unable to sustain itself. So even when it's in one solid piece, it can't chain and continue burning. So I've let a little bit more air back into the chamber. Let's see if it'll burn now. That's a no-go on burn. Wait, wait. It's kind of smoldering. Now, that is interesting. But the simple explanation is that there isn't enough oxygen for it to chain a reaction. The ingredients in the rocket candy do contain an oxidizer, but just not enough for it to combust in a vacuum. But then again, amateur rockets aren't supposed to go to space. Let's look at the fuel an actual rocket uses to go to space. Here is an image of the basic design of rockets. You can see a large container for the fuel here that would contain highly refined kerosene for the first stage boosters of rockets like the Saturn V, the Atlas V, and the Falcon. But more modern rockets like the Delta IV, as well as second stages for older rockets, could use liquid hydrogen. But this is the important part here, liquid oxygen, or LOX for short. This large amount of oxygen is mixed with the combustible fuel in the combustion chamber, providing more than enough oxygen for combustion to happen. So we see that combustion in the near vacuum of space is completely possible with the right ingredients. But that's not the issue a lot of people have. Some flirts are stupid enough to think that the entirety of space is fake, like this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show on earth. Yes, yes, guys, this is happening. You're not hallucinating. See, there's a solid barrier we can't get through. It's called the firmament between me and you. Go check word of our bronze headstone. He knew about that firmament dome. He left you all a little not in a way. For those of you still able to think. Psalm 19, 1, chapter and verse. The firmament shows his handiwork. Why the name of science? So that was Flat Earth Man, and he likes to sing really bad songs about Flat Earth. He is no Mr. Cheswick, that's for sure. But the whole thing about space being fake, luckily, I've got a friend who's proved otherwise. Both of these videos are of rocket launches from Red's Rhetoric, 
He was lucky enough to catch both these launches as the sun was in a position to illuminate the gases leaving the back of the rocket. Pay attention, because as the rockets gain altitude, the illuminated gases coming out of the back expand as the pressure decreases with altitude. All the way until the gases are expanding so much, it shows that the rockets have transitioned into a vacuum, proving there is no firmament and the outer space is real. And there we have it, proof that space is real and that rockets work in a vacuum. I mean, the physics are actually pretty simple to understand, you know, unless you're one of the twats that are too simple to understand simple things. And that's all we have time for today. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you never miss anything from Fight the Flat Earth. I want to apologize for the lack of videos lately. First, my laptop died and I had to get a new computer. Then I've had some teething issues with my new computer and I've been really, really struggling with my chronic pain. And then I had an accident while out grocery shopping. When I say an accident, what actually happened was some really bad parenting. Some little brat was allowed to run up and down the aisle with a trolley and slammed it full speed into my bad knee, trapping it between my trolley and the unattended child's trolley. And that really fucking hurt. But anyway, I've already got another video in production, so things should pick up again now. Thanks for your support and patience. It means the world. I've stormed past 7,000 subscribers and I want to personally thank every single one of you. An extra massive thanks to my patrons. Your support allows me to focus more time on making videos and gives me a buffer should anything happen to my account again. Well, I'll be back soon with the long-awaited episode 10 of Flurfs Are Idiots for Jaronism with Team Skeptic. And I'm going to tell you now, it's going to be a special one. Remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat 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 Fight the